what is an AI agent? Okay, here we go. Good response. Let's hope. There we go. Look at that. Let's come to Twitter profile. No, still not work. Bam. And there we go. Look at that. We've got our own tweet thread. So today I'm going to show you how I built an autonomous Twitter bot for my Twitter account. Basically what this bot does is take a research agent that I built in another video, which goes away and does a bunch of research on the internet based on a given topic that you give it. Take that, put it into a large language model prompt chain, which then converts that into a really good Twitter thread. And then using the Twitter API, the free tier, to post that to your account. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I built this and how you can automate your Twitter completely from scratch for free. So the first step is this research agent. So I did a whole video on it, you can check it up here. But watch this first and then, and then go have a look at that. So this, just the brief overview, basically this research agent has two tools. It has a web search, it has a web scraper. The web search is to get the links the web scraper is to then go and scrape all that data. It then takes all that data and the topic that I've told it to go and research, and then it outputs a decent amount of research. And then I did integrate it through an API and Zapier and CRM, but we're not gonna do that in this video. We're gonna take this research agent and plug it into a prompt chain to build out a Twitter thread. So the first thing you wanna do is come and clone my repo, the Langchain research agent, cd into that directory and here we have the code so we've got an app.py and we've got a test api what we can do is we can just delete this test api we don't need it for now so the first thing we just need to do some changes we can take out fast api we want to allow streamlet and we can take out this fast api as well and uncomment the streamlet application so all you need to do to actually get this working is put your .env file in, make sure you have your OpenAI keys, your browserless API key, your SERPA API key. You can go watch the other video to find out how I get those. Put that in your .env and this should work. So if we run this, not like this, we wanna streamlit run app.py, tell it to go and have a look at the latest news on Meta. And there we go. So now it comes back with a bunch of news of all the stuff that's found and a bunch of links. So now we want to turn something like this into a Twitter thread that actually contains a lot of nice useful information and has some good hooks. So come down here before the streamlit code. And this is the prompt chain that I'm going to use to actually convert the, the research into a good Twitter thread. So I actually came up with this prompt myself. You are a very experienced ghostwriter who excels at writing Twitter threads, blah, blah, blah. You're bunch of different instructions. And I've also given it the hook. So obviously the first tweet in any Twitter thread is Twitter thread is very important. So you want to make sure it gives it a good hook. So I found giving a bunch of examples on how to do sort of hooks makes it work really, really well. And then what we do is we pass in the topic headline. So i.e. the thing that I've the user inputs and then all the info, which is the research. And then we pass in the prompt, we do a prompt template of info and topic. Basically, this is, Langchain will go away in the back and when you pass these parameters in, it will place this into the prompt. I'll show you later how that works. LLM chain, so what we need to do here is we need to come and import it here and that will go in and turn the research into a Twitter thread. So now we actually wanna just display it in Streamlit. So what this code does is it basically takes the large language model, runs a predict on it. The topic is gonna to be the query. So from this query input, and watch we are running this after we actually run the research agent. So we run the research agent, get the result, and then we pass the info as the result. So here we got topic and info. So these are gonna match up with these. So it's gonna see these as parameters and pass these into the prompt. Uh, and then we're gonna write out the thread with sd.markdown, it's just a good way of formatting your text, and then output the research at the bottom. So let's have a look and see if this works. What is LK99? Oh, okay, and so after a minute, here we go. We have our Twitter thread. We've got our nice six, six length Twitter thread, and in the prompt I've told it to be between three and 10, so you get a sort of a variation. And then it also, 
passes down the research so you can come and have a look at the research. So LK99 is this this new compound that has been found, this superconductivity at room temperature. As you can see, it's actually doing a pretty good hook. It does sound a little bit cringy here and there, so you might want to play around with the with the prompt, but this prompt I found does, does the best. Now, I also went and updated this prompt to add in a bunch of stuff. What it tends to go away and do is just summarize these sites and say, this is a site that has information, which is really not that helpful. So giving some examples of stuff that you don't want to see. But again, this will all be on my GitHub after you watch this video. Okay, so now we've got this. What we need to do is now basically connect to Twitter, break down this single string into its separate tweets, and then post those all to Twitter. So let's get the API working. So the first thing you're going to need to do is come to the Twitter developer portal, log in, and because you're just using it for your account, you can actually use it for free. So come down here, click sign up for free. Let's put in the prompt. I can't be bothered to write out a bunch of stuff. Agree to all the terms and conditions, submit. And basically with a free tier, you get one application, but this is really all you need. And you get up to 1,500 tweets per month. So you get quite a decent chunk. Now, the first thing we do need to do is set up authentication. So we need to be able to actually write to the Twitter account. So if you come here, we need to change this from read to read and write. Just put in native application. You do have to put in a URL. So I'm just going to put in... I'm going to put in a random URL. It doesn't really matter. Hit save. Hit yes. And then you get these keys. Don't worry about these keys. These are, are useless to you. Okay, we've got authentication set up. Now, the useful thing is going to be here in keys and token. So there's going to be five keys that you need. You're going to need your API key and secret. So this is your application key, basically your API keys. You're going to need a bearer token. And then you're going to need your access token and secret for your specific account. If you don't put these in, you'll have to do this sort of three-step authentication where it takes it to another page, you log in with your Twitter account, and then it comes back. But here, we just want it to all the time do it so we can get access to our own account secret token keys. So generate these and then put these into your .env file. And you'll know you've done this right is when you generate your access token and secret, it will say created with read and write permissions. If you haven't done the following step, it will only say read permissions and it will error when you try and post it through the API. So this is done. Let's get back to the code. So create a new file. You can do it in the same file, but I like creating a new file. And we're going to do our tweeter function. So basically what we need to do is all these five keys load them from your environment, import Tweepy. Tweepy is just an, a nice Pythonic library to hit the API. And then you want to set up your client with all your keys and then return your client. So pretty simple here. And then to use that function, make sure you actually import it. And now we want to write our tweet function calling the client API. So we want to call that function. So tweet API is now going to have our client with all of our keys in it. And then we're going to create this function called tweet. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass it the thread, which is going to be a big chunk of text. And between each tweet is a space line. So we can actually split this thread on backslash n black backslash n. So this will basically give us a list of all the tweets. So if it's a six tweet string then it will give us a list of six strings then we want to send our first tweet so the way a thread actually works is you put your first tweet and then you actually just reply consecutively to all your different tweets so we want to basically send our first tweet so tweet api.create tweet pass in the first tweet as you know so text variable equal the the tweet at location zero and then we want to get the id of that because this is going to be important in actually replying then we want to delete that first tweet and then we're going to loop, right? So for I in tweet, so then going over each of these tweets, we're going to send that tweet. Text is I, so we're going to send that payload. And then also this is important now. So in reply to tweet ID. So we're creating this tweet in reply to the ID. So initially, you know, on the first run, we're going to go, it's going to be the second tweet because we've deleted the first tweet. It's going to have the ID of the first tweet, and then it's going to post that as a reply. 
and then we want to get the ID of re repeat tweet dot data to set it up for the next loop. So each tweet will be a reply to the, the other tweets. Now, the last thing here is we're just going to call this function. We're going to use a button. So tweet equals st dot button tweet. So this button is going to appear on the screen after it shows the thread. Basically, when we click it, tweet, this tweet variable will become true. So we're going to do this if tweet. So if it's true, we want to basically send this thread to our API. So let's test this out. Okay, nothing's broken yet. What is an AI agent? I'll be amazed if there's no bugs here. Okay, here we go. So we've got our Twitter thread. Ever wondered what an AI agent is? And hopefully we're going to have a button here. Once we hit that, we should post to Twitter. So let's have a look at my Twitter. Oh, damn. Okay, so bad request. Your tweet text is too long. So obviously the some of these, like, yeah, this that, that's just way too long for that. Let's see if it actually posted any of them. Yeah, okay, so you see it posts the first one. Obviously, the second one was just way too long. Now, I did, like, two hours ago just to pay for Twitter Blue on this, but obviously the functionality has not come yet or something like that. So a workaround will be... Make sure each tweet is lower than 200. And let's say 220 cars, because it can't actually count. So... Let's try this and hopefully this will be a bit better. Now let's rerun this. What is an AI agent? Okay, here we go. Good response. Let's hope. There we go. Look at that. Let's come to Twitter profile. No, still not work. Bam. And there we go. Look at that. We've got our own tweet thread, tweet thread posted and everything has come through so this is a way you can completely automate your twitter the next steps for this would be let's just host this on streamlit so we've always got our own private little site and then every day just come put in the new topic of the day whatever you see on twitter and it will go away it'll do the research you'll write your twitter thread and you'll post it to twitter so i'm going to be doing this now for the next few months because i'm super lazy and hate doing the writing myself and we'll see what sort of reaction i get now, if you like this video and you're a company that wants to work with me, I've got an email in the description. Or if you just want to book an hour of my time to go over some code or go over some ideas, I've also got a link in the description where you can book an hour slot.